I will be dropped off at location A at 859. I will enter the store at 0900 via the south entrance. I will proceed to aisle 3 and select the baked beans on sale for 89 cents. Then I will proceed to aisle 6 for cheese sauce for $1.46 and chips for $2.79. Finally, I will conclude in aisle seven for a two liter bottle of soda at $1.09. The total price for the items is $6.60, which includes a 6% sales tax. I will give them a $10 bill and I should receive $3.40 in change. I suspect the clerk will give me the following. The purchase price was $6.65. Six $6.65? $6.75? $7? $8? $9? $10? I need you to hammer out a price on these items. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're told it is six sixty-seven, please. Ah, uh, I'm afraid it should be six sixty. Uh no, sir, it says six sixty-seven. No, no, no. Now six twenty-three plus six percent sales tax equals six sixty. That is true, sir, but our sales tax is now 7%, so your sales total is 667. <gasps> Code Red! Code Red! It's a, it's a bust! Code Red! Quick! Red! Wake up! Wake up, Red! They're on to me! People are talking! 7% sales tax! You ever heard of such a thing? We gotta get out of here. Well, no one said Operation Green Duck would be easy. The increase in sales tax really threw Rusty for a loop. <laughs> I hope he's okay. I wonder how the additional 1% sales tax would have affected the amount of change returned if Rusty gave the clerk $10. Let's take a look. Rusty expected a purchase price of $6.60, which included a 6% sales tax. He should have received the following change. The purchase price was $6.60, $6.65, $6.70, $6.75, $6.80, $6.90, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95, $6.95,